I don't have a good place to put my stuff when I get home from work. So it usually ends up on the floor. I really need a coat rack. After cutting it to length and ripping it to width, I route each end with a cove fit. I'm using just standard 3 quarter inch solid oak that I picked up at the home center. After routing each end, I switch over to the front end. And this will be the top part of my coat rack, also called the cap cove. I measure to the edge of the cove and then subtract an eighth inch from each end and then an eighth inch from the front. This will give me the dimensions for my cap bead. I play my board to a half inch thick. Then I cut it to length, then rip it to width. The offcut will be used for the base. With an OG bit, I route each of the ends. I do the ends first to minimize blowout, and then I route the front edge. For the cutoff, I use a roundover bit. I flip over the stock to route the other side, and this will give me a nice bullnose profile. I do the same for each side and the front. This will be my base. I plane down the header to 5 8 inch thick. And then I cut it to length, then rip it to width. Then everybody's favorite part, sanding. I sanded everything to 220 grit. I also did a little bit of hand sanding to get into the profiles. On the back of each one of the pieces, I mark a center line. This will make it easy to line everything up when I'm ready to assemble. I spread glue on the edge of the header and then carefully attach the base. I secure it with pin nails and then clamp it up until the glue dries. Once dry, it's time to glue on the cap bead. I line up the center lines I drew earlier for easy alignment, and then I pin it into place with my pin nail. While the glue is still wet on the cap bead, I glue on the cap cove. This time I'm using my brad nailer to secure both the cap bead and the cap cove, and then I add clamps until the glue dries. I'm using a canned acrylic spray for the finish. I like the non-yellowing finish it provides. I put on a total of four coats. I took extra time lining up the hooks. I'm making extra sure that they're evenly spaced and square with the top and bottom. With an awl, I marked where each one of the screws go. Then I pre-drilled each of the screw holes. Then I attach each of the hooks. I made two sets of these coat racks. I'm really happy how this project turned out. I love the profile of the final piece. Now I have a place to put my coat and hat when I get home from a long day's work. and so does the rest of my family. Thanks for watching.